Wilderness Innovation. Real Survival Kits. Survival Shelter. Simplifying Survival at WildernessInnovation.com. Uh, what I want to talk to you today is uh, urban survival, and particular, uh, in particular, I want to talk about cord making, rope making, uh, using things that you would find in an urban environment. So let's get started. Let's see what we can come up with, all right? All right, so you ever seen one of these before? Well, you probably can't tell what it is right off because it doesn't have the hanger in it. This is a dry cleaning bag, and we can make some good stuff out of dry cleaning bags. Let me show you what we can do here. Right here what we have, this was made from a dry cleaning bag. Uh, about uh, 5 eighths of an inch diameter or so. So and it's pretty sturdy. Um, it can hold me, so that's not too bad. And uh, so let me show you how we do this thing. Uh, this is a good way to practice making cordage. You can practice at home while you're watching TV or whatever. And like I've always said, practice, practice, practice. That's what it's all about, to get good at things in survival. So here's a way you can do urban survival skills, and you can practice your cord making and rope making uh, in the comfort of your living room if you'd like to. So let's get started on this little deal, and let's show you what we do, okay? All right, so I'm going to start with this dry cleaning bag. There it is laid out. So all, all we really want to do is we're just going to kind of, all we want to do is just kind of work it like this. We just fold it in half, roughly. And offset it a little about like that so I can uh, taper in another, my next piece right here and keep this thing going. Now what we're going to do is you take uh, like this and just twist clockwise. Just twist up a little bit of it to kind of get you started. And then just put that in your other, in your finger there and just kind of hold it. We just want a little section like that. Now we're going to fold it just like this, okay? Now, so we twist, twist it pretty snug. And then we, what we do is we're just twisting the whole thing counterclockwise like this towards you. So what we're doing, see we're twisting clockwise and then we're taking the whole thing and going counterclockwise and then twisting clockwise, take the whole thing counterclockwise. And by doing that, what we're actually doing is we're creating a, we're creating a friction in here because all this stuff here is going clockwise and our twist is counterclockwise and it creates a friction between the two strands and that's what kind of holds everything together. So that's all we do right here and uh, as you get going along why you know you can see it doesn't take doesn't take very long to uh, make up some rope. So if you're just sitting around the couch or if you're up in the mountains at camp or whatever see there there we go right there we got the, a good start on some. All right, I want to show you something a little more close up here, and I don't know if you can catch this on the camera, but if you see, there's kind of a grain to the twist here that kind of runs runs the parallel with the length of the rope. That means you've twisted it upright. And if you look a rope at a rope you've got from the store or whatever, a commercial-made rope, when you look at the, uh, the how it's twisted up, you'll see that the fibers are actually look like they're aligned up, so they go with the same direction as the length of the rope. So that's one way you can kind of check and make sure you're doing everything right. Okay, now, remember, everything we do here uh, uh, plays in exactly the same way if you're using natural fibers up in the mountains. Okay, you're out in the woods. So what we've got to this point, we're going to run out here. So we need to be able to uh, splice some other material in. So I can take, I could take this other piece here and just start going. The problem is I've got this thickness. I'm going to double it over. I'll be twice as thick on my material here. So you really don't want to do that. And you can just, you could take the scissors and just kind of snip a little diagonal out of here 
so it's kind of thin and works up thick. Or you can be, uh, you can just kind of play it like I do. I just grab some diagonal corners here. That makes it thick and then it goes, it goes thinner out here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to uh, stick this up here with the rest of it. And <clears throat> I'm going to let this hang out a little bit and I will, I will trim that off later. So what I'm going to do is get a good twist on that. And bring that up and then get my other piece okay make sure I'm still in the camera here all right now just keep working on that and you ideally you want to try to keep you know, everything just as uh, at the same thickness and all that sort of thing and you know if you really got particular about it you can do that pretty well. I don't know how close we're going to be here, but uh, we'll try it and see. Okay, so there we are. We started here. We've wo we've spliced in another piece, so now we can keep on going. I can come back and just trim that up, and then since this is synthetic, I can just take a a match or a lighter and just singe that back right there. All right, now you see we've uh, worked this in from up here on back. And I'm going to get ready to splice in another piece for this other side here shortly. Okay. All right, so here's our, our ropes done. Uh, right there, our urban rope from a dry cleaner bag. Now if you stop and think about it, there's some other things you can use as well. Uh, grocery cl plastic grocery bags work great. Uh, I've, I used, uh, I've made some decent rope before out of strips of uh, the old paper, uh, the brown paper uh, grocery bags. I used to do them out of that. Cut those in strips and then twist them up. So you can do that. You can also use fabric. You can use strips of fabric. All kinds of uh, materials and stuff like that that you can use in an urban environment to uh, get yourself some rope. Now let me tell you, one time when I lived in Canada, uh, quite a few years ago, uh, we made a, I made a rope out of uh, dry cleaner bags. It took me a while to do it, but it was about an inch thick, and uh, we actually pulled a car with it. So, uh, you know, you can do all kind of stuff with, with just stuff that's laying around uh, in your community in an urban environment, and the same techniques that we use here for uh, twisting rope together, making up some cordage. You do the same thing with natural materials. You just lay them up and twist them the same way. You're just using, in a natural environment, you're tip typically using a bundle of fibers instead of, a, instead of a bag. You just twist them up the same kind of way. So you have a great day, man. See you later.